Excellent, excellent, excellent presentation. Thank you, AJ. Uh, and uh, again, it's been a long evening, so uh, I'm definitely going to do this next, this next step. Be brief, okay? Um, AJ left out one point that we need to definitely take into consideration. He gave three, but there's a four. They are here. Okay. They ain't coming. We're not looking ahead for them. They are here. And my job right now for you is to connect the dots. So, AJ, if you Yeah, yeah. If, if so, We'll put it back up at the end, but I just didn't want it to be on everybody's live. These people, I don't need them. I, 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 Absolutely. I'm not going to say that they deal with my names. <laughs> I wish everybody had the moral uh, comments that we do. Did they so, then they blame it on us. <laughs> <laughs> they do it, then blame it on us. So, um, a few weeks ago, and it was already mentioned about the mayors who came together in order to speak up about the confusion that Mount Lily has brought inside the Charleston County School District, as already been mentioned. But in response to that, two days later, there was another press conference, and I wish I could have, but well, yeah, I'm not technologically, technologically astute, so I did the best I could. But that's a picture of that actual press conference. Okay. Um, there's about, in that picture, maybe about 30 people, about 30 people there. All types of people. And just to look at it, it looks like a really nice group. But this group was there in order to speak out against the mayors that came together to speak out against Moms for Liberty. They were there in support of Moms for Liberty. Now, in that group, It's a good looking girl. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, a good looking girl. But then, if we go to the next slide, there are some people who can really be recognized. I got, as a matter of fact, I got some boxes over here that can help recognize them. On the, that would be your left, right, the box there. It's a Charleston County School District board member, Carlotta Bay. With this, we're speaking up for Moms for Liberty now. That's her. The next box to hers is an arrow pointing to the Moms for Liberty Charleston chairperson, Tara Wood. They say that they don't associate them. The next box, the middle box, is Charleston County School District member, Ed Kelly, board member, Ed Kelly. The next box is actually the state representative, Jordan Pace. Jordan Pace represents District 117, which is Berkeley County, but he's also a member of, and you heard it mentioned, the Freedom Caucus, this far-right conservative South Carolina legislators group that was actually nationally founded by Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. And they, when I say far-right, South Carolina Freedom Caucus is as far right as it gets as legislators, okay? Then that fifth box, there's a young lady there who you can't really see because she's behind you every day. Her name is Latricia Pond. Latricia Pond, I first met Latricia Pond when she was standing with the Confederate flag. She's a black girl. You can't see her. You're going to see her actually on, I think, the next slide you see. Yeah, on the next slide you see. Patricia Pond is a black girl, and she was in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. She was there with the insurrectionists. Okay. And on that next slide, there, again, you see on your, your left, Jordan Pace, South Carolina Freedom Caucus. Next to her, I just put that box up there, because this is the lady that raised up on Trudy Grant the other night in there. She was getting ready to box Trudy. She don't know. So a lot of us say it, but you know, we 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 all ain't arrived there yet. <laughs> but
But then right next to that, that box, pointing down to the black girl in the middle, that's Patricia Pond. That's the, the girl that was in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. Black girl. Also ran for South Carolina House District 15 against J.A. Moore. She lost, but she did run. By the way, Jordan Pace actually ran against Crystal Matthews for his seat in District 117, and she lost. Hmm. See how many these races in there? Next to Patricia, the box is Republican Kathy, Kathy Lamb. Kathy Landing, I don't even know how to describe her, other than being a right wing radical representative. Her district, District 80, covers Charleston. And then, if you look to your right, can't really see him that well, that's Matt Lieber. Matt Lieber is also a South Carolina House Representative, District 116, covering Charleston County and Collier County. He was elected over Chardonnay River who held that seat for a couple of years because people didn't go vote. Now, this guy, Matt Lieber, Matt Lieber is a 3%. 3%. Y'all know what a 3% is? 3% yeah. is no, no different than, other than the historic record that they try to paint, which is all false. They're no different than the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers. No different. Okay? So when we look at this picture, right, the first slide looks real nice. But when you start, oh yeah, this is good. Look on that, that next picture. You can get a picture of Patricia at the She's up. She's up. Yeah. Oh, she already up there. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> January 6th. January 6th. Well, when you look at this picture, there's somebody that's not in the picture. His name is Joshua Gale. Joshua Gale ran, ran for North Charleston City Council in his last election. Thank God he did not win. He's mom's political. And then, there's another person I'm going to talk about in a minute, right there. But when you look at the picture, little would you think, though, that all of these people were represented in this crowd. You've got the South Carolina Freedom Caucus, radical right wing. You've got a 3% similar to Oak Keepers of Power Boys. You've got a young lady, a black girl, who's in Washington, D.C., the day of the real insurrection. You got two Charleston County School District board members, one black, one white, all in this crowd who are dismantling our public school system. And there's one more in that crowd who is not in the pictures, but she's right there. And her name is Patricia Estes. Her and her husband, they're the pastors of this church in North Charleston called North Park. Yeah. North Park. And that picture is a screenshot taken from their website. And I know it's far, pretty far up there. But let me read what it says, okay, the underlying part. It says, Mark and Patricia Estes are catalysts for city unity among churches and are great examples for leading fivefold ministries on the seven mountains of social societal influence. The seven mountain mandate that's on their website. And the reality is, yes, she was there. As a matter of fact, she, she had a good time calling my name in. That Reverend Dixon. That Reverend Dixon. I guess she don't like Reverend Dixon. I don't know why. I'm really a nice guy. I don't get it. But the reality is, and this is only an, an assumption. Okay, first off, that's where Elvin met. He said it earlier. Met Carlisle Bailey. And this other person that was there, her name is Lindsay Piper Lewis. Lewis. Lindsay is, I would be careful about getting in the same space with her at any time, unless she want to hear the fire of God. She's going to quote scripture, talk loud, or everything in your face. But Elvin wasn't expecting anybody to come out of the thing. That's what it was. Both of you and her And this is the same lady that they invited back to the executive session that they told us we can only have board members in the executive session, but they invited her in to put a stamp on what Carlotta was saying, Carlotta Bay. And I was sitting in the crowd. Yeah, yeah you were sitting right there. You didn't get it right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. So just for, you want to explain but, what happened yeah. right quick with them? Just 
just case y'all don't understand what happened. Carletta Bailey invited the lady who was in the meeting that I went to, Carletta Bailey, her name was Lindsay Lewis, and she was allowed to go back into executive session on board members going to, to testify on behalf of Carletta Bailey. She was there to tell the other board members that she didn't say the things that I had recorded on her. <laughs> now, she was allowed to go back there. I was sitting in the crowd. In the crowd. I, too, was at that meeting. And I was not allowed to go to say, hey, yes, yeah, she did say these things. She, they came up and said that I altered the video for hmm. Somehow, they, me and my Samsung, we got a video. Somehow, we're between my uh, high school diploma and skill training and driving truck. We did MD, train, MDI training. And, you know, we learned how to take the voice, AI, and get them to say things that they didn't say. And that's what they said. They said that I altered the video. So it wasn't her. It was the, she didn't say the things that we heard because I altered the video. That's what it was. And, and mind you, I was sitting. They called her. When they called her, I was sitting on this side, and she was sitting like, where's the other one sitting now? But they called her to the back. I was sitting right there. Me and Dixon was there. <laughs> So, they're here. <laughs> that picture covers so many different folks. Again, three for seven, January 6th, Tara Wood, the president of the Bronx, remember? The Charleston County School District board members, all of them right there, and this pastor, right, who gets up on the side and uses my name. But, and this is, I can only speculate on this, but I really do believe that through that church, North Palm, just like we saw in the video that AJ presented, that these candidates are being vetted and run through that church and selected to run for office. That's where it started. And that's probably not the only one. Let me just put it that way. Probably not the only one. They did. Okay? Why would I say that? <coughs> because I just said that the other men, Carl R. Bailey, had more fun. That's where they had this conversation even before that. That's where they wanted to meet at. Joshua Hill of the City Council, North Charleston. He goes to church there. Curtis Merrill, who ran the City Council in North Charleston, he goes there. Ran for mayor. mayor. Yeah, mayor, excuse me. Mayor, excuse me. Leo Hartley, Charleston County School Board member. She goes to that church. Lindsay Catherine Lewis. The scripture spot lady, she goes to that church and have all the pastors in Charleston, the home city, who shows up at that press conference. But the pastor, Patricia Estes of North Palm Church, the church where on their own website say they down with the seven mountain mandate and dominionism. So I passed around this little plot right here. That if you look at it, look at how the, the intersection of all these things that are there, okay? In particular, we see Christian Wright, North Palm Church. We see Dominion Theology, North Palm Church. Crystal Fascists, I would say that's Carl Arthur Bailey, and Lindsay and, and, and Piper, absolutely. All of these intersecting, though, with Moms for Liberty as it gets closer to the center and the three percenters, all of those that I just talked about in that press conference right there, all of them that fall up under, just like the state, the GOP, the <laughs> Monica, Republicans, conservatives, all together up under the same umbrella It looks like national domination, national control, and that's what they want to do. It was my job to connect the dots. I hope I just did that so that we can all realize, those who are watching online and everything, realize just the, 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 the threat, the danger that we're under right now as these people have coalesced, all these different people that are, are, in, are in, this, in these groups. No doubt they have some of the ones that I didn't mention. Constitutional sheriffs and Nazis and, and, and conspiracy theories, theorists, and QAnon. 
I'm quite sure they probably got all of them under their pillow. We just don't know all of them. But there's enough that I just showed right there from their press conference for all of us to realize this ain't no joke. This is serious. And we've got to start, start taking it serious too and acting like it. And just like it's been already said, we need the vote like you said.